I want to do a quick video on how to program this VVEST Lite 120 amp ESC. This $30 ESC also goes by the name. At any rate, last time out here, I had it in my Jetla JC14 EP. In this truck, the $30 ESC allowed it to run 4S. It hit 71 miles an hour. Full throttle. Did we reach 70 miles an hour? 71.2. There it is. The best life ESC is no joke. But there's a few things I want to program in ESC. I want to turn the punch down. And I also want to go ahead and adjust the neutral range. Uh, when I was wearing gloves, I was having a real hard time, uh, you know, just barely bumping the trigger and it was causing it to move around too much. So I look to adjust that as well. We'll try another run. But as you can see here, I just tapped things and it went backwards on me. It's, uh, it's, it's this is a handful today, I'm not gonna lie. As you can see here, this ESC has a lot of different parameters that you can adjust here. And uh, gosh, I can't see it, my eyes aren't very good. But if I zoom way in here, we have uh, motor rotation, start mode. I'm not gonna read all of these off, but again, I'm gonna look to adjust the punch, maybe the brake force, probably the uh, low voltage shutoff, and uh, that neutral range. So number 10, number nine, or actually, maybe it's actually number eight, and, and the start mode, so number three. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So how you're gonna do this is you're just gonna find channel two on your receiver, uh, and you're gonna go ahead and pull out uh, channel number two. Okay, so here's my channel number two. And now once you have channel number two pulled out, you're gonna go ahead and simply just plug it in to the end of the programming card here. And you can see, uh, I think the black wire is gonna go on the left, uh, the minus sign is on the left. So let me do that. My uh, selfie stick's broken, so I have to put this down. All right, and you're just gonna also wanna go ahead and connect the battery. I just did that off camera. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And it looks like we're in business. So it may be hard to see, but there's uh, red lights for the different settings. So you have item number one is at value number four. So if we flip this over, we can see item number one is the operation mode. And honestly, I'm not even sure what that means. So we're gonna leave that alone. So we're gonna go down to the start mode. The default is the white um, highlighted box, so level four. I want to turn that down to one. On my speed run car, I don't want that hard punch. I want to be able to just ease into the throttle. So I'm going to go ahead here and hit the, the item. I guess that's supposed to be the item button until we get to four. I'm sorry, three. And it's actually on punch level five. So I don't want that. I'm gonna keep hitting this until we get to level one. Then I'm gonna hit okay. And you hear that? That's nice how it beats and lets you know the change was made. What else did I say? I think it was nine and 10. Gosh, I'm having a hard time seeing this. Sorry guys, I'm moving this all around. Brake force, max brake force, number eight. It's at 100%. I might actually look to turn that down just a little bit. So. I'm going to go with 77, which is number eight. So we're going to go to item number eight, and we're going to put that to number eight. So we're going to hit value until we get to number eight. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Again, I don't want the brakes too strong. Doing speed runs, it can easily upset the car. If you hit those brakes too hard and uh, might go where you really don't want it to or spin out or whatever so the neutral range is at looks like three percent or so doesn't go much higher but i'm gonna put that all the way up to 
level 10. So again, neutral range is number 10, and I'm gonna put that to value 10. So let's put that all the way up there and hit okay. All right, now it's programmed. So I should just be able to go ahead and turn off the um, ESC. I'll turn the programmer off as well. I'm gonna go ahead now, turn it back on. And let's check one of those values we changed. So if you remember, three is the punch and it was at value, it was four or five, I think it was five. Now it's at value one. So it looks like the changes are safe. Eight should be eight and 10 should be 10. We're good to go. So again, just turn it off and then pull the um, ESC plug out of the programmer and then we're gonna put that back in channel two. So white wire is gonna go on the right here, just like that. And then channel one is the servo. I'm gonna pop that back in here. And that's it, we're good to go. That's how you program the VBAS Life. 120 amp ESC. This thing has been an absolute ripper. Again, 70 plus miles an hour in this 14th scale truck. Uh, I'm gonna keep torture testing it, see how it performs. It's only rated for 2S. 3S should be no problem, but you can also run it on 4S if you're feeling um, a little daring. I don't recommend it for regular use, but so far for 30 bucks, it's a great ESC. And I'll put a link to where you can pick up this programming car but very nice. This has more parameters than some of my more expensive ESCs and uh, very nice package here. All right, guys, that's all I have for now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.